Welcome to AQA GCSE English Language. Just a quick brief overview of this qualification. So the entry requirements, if you do not have uh, a four to grades four to nine or a traditional A to C in GCSE English, you are entitled to take this qualification for free at college. Um, we assess students as soon as you come in on application and, and then we can uh, see which is the best pathway for you. It may be functional skills pathway or it may be the GCSE English. Uh, a level two pass at functional skills, if a student has that, means, uh, means you can move straight on to GCSE English. Um, but what we'll do is we'll assess you to make sure that you are on the right course for you. The course is short, it is intensive, it's um, all 100% exam based. So it's making sure that you're okay with the questions um, and you do a, make sure that you do a speaking and listening assessment as well. So we assess reading, writing, speaking and listening on the functional skills and GCSE English pathways. And the results from the exams in, in June, the results come out every August. With the assessments, um, you can see here that there are two papers and the speaking and listening. So we have a paper one, which is fiction. It's an hour, 45 minutes for the reading and the writing. And you do a creative writing piece as well. And for paper two, it's your nonfiction. So it might be letters, speeches, articles, autobiographies. And again, there's a reading and writing section and your persuasive writing piece at the end. So a quick look at the papers here. So we've got paper one, paper two, and you have five questions per paper. Always the same, always in the same order, always the same marks. So really it's making sure that you're practicing in class and revising in class to answer these questions that will come up in the final examinations. And that is a quick overview of GCSE English. And hopefully we'll get to see Hello there, um, my name is Rich Wells. I'm one of the GCSE Maths Lecturers here at uh, HSDC. Um, you're watching this video, so you might be considering um, a course, a GCSE Maths course for this here at, uh, at college. Um, you might be a student currently at school, maybe just, just leaving school, who didn't achieve the grade that perhaps you would have wanted or needed to achieve. Uh, you might be an adult student, maybe you haven't been in uh, the education for a long time. Um, and maybe you need the qualification for your job. Um, maybe you just need it for your own, for your own pleasure, if you like. Um, so what do we offer here at HSDC? Well, um, the best news is it's free, okay? Any full-time student or any adult part-time student uh, who hasn't already achieved a qualification or a past grade at GCSE Maths, uh, the course is free, you don't have to pay a penny. Typically here we teach foundation tier, which um, a past grade in foundation, foundation tier is grade four and grade five. Um, if for whatever reason you need a higher grade than that, that would be grade six, seven, eight and nine, for example, then you would need the higher tier course, which we do do here, but if you need that, come and talk to us. Um, we pride ourselves here uh, uh, in our classes for all our students uh, in being friendly, supportive, positive and, and, and encouraging. Uh, that's particularly important because quite a few of our students um, have a very poor view of their own maths ability, um, be that true or not. And it's our job to try and encourage you and get the best out of you. It's a fast paced course. Uh, at school, this is a two year course. Uh, we try and do it all in one year, so cram a lot in. Uh, you'll be coming into one two and a half hour lesson. Um, but you should allow roughly the same amount of time at home as well per week um, to do all the homework and all the revision you need. Um, so you do need a fair bit of commitment and you really can't afford to miss lessons. Um, if you're interested, I hope you are, um, contact college, get in touch with the GCSE maths team and we'll see if we can help you. If you do uh, enrol in the course, I wish you all the best. Hello and welcome to Functional Skills here at HSDC. What is Functional Skills? Functional Skills are very different to GCSEs in schools in terms of maths and English. It covers skills that are useful in your everyday life. Functional Skills qualifications 
are like building blocks so you can work at the right level for you and build on your skills. They range from entry level right up to level two and this is equivalent to a GCSE. In English, you can expect to learn how to lay out a formal letter, find information in a range of texts and write letters, emails, reports, blogs and speeches. In maths, you can expect to learn how to improve your maths confidence, learn skills that you can use every day, such as finding a bargain in the shops, and take the fear out of fractions and the mystery out of measurements. Unlike GCSE, functional skills assessments are spread throughout the year with a chance for resits. If you achieve a grade two in your GCSE English and Maths, you will be enrolled onto functional skills. You will complete some activities at the beginning of your course to help us work out which is the right level for you. You will have two lessons a week for each subject, as well as online support available through Google Classroom. We look forward to meeting you. This has been Functional Skills at HSCC.